Hey guys, Jim here at Savage Shooters. Coming to you today with a new B series rimfire rifle that I just got in for review, and I thought I would do a quick video on how to disassemble the bolt. Uh, it's pretty easy process. It's it's a lot easier than the old Mark IIs and 93Rs, uh, just because of the new bolt design. It uses a rear bolt assembly screw or BAS, like the uh, centerfire models. Um, the only tool you will need is a quarter inch hex head Allen wrench. Uh, basically start out, bust that loose, might be a little tight from the factory. Now this is under spring tension so be careful when taking it apart. I recommend using your thumb and your finger to lock over it, keep it from flying. It's not real hard tension but it's, you know, you got quarter to half inch you're compressing it there. So you got your BAS there, you got your firing pin spring, transfer rod. You know, here you have your cocking piece pin that uh, just pull that right out, just like on a 110. Now, here's where it's a little different. The hole for the cocking piece pin, you're going to have to slide that clear back to the back, flip it over. And you'll see there's a pin here. Hopefully you'll see that. My lighting's not the greatest here. That little shiny head, there's a pin. There's a little notch here in the groove. On the back side, there's a small hole you can see here. Yeah, maybe, maybe, maybe not. Come on, lighting, you suck. Anyway, there you go. Uh, and there's that, the head of that pin has to line up with that hole so you can push it out. So once you get it lined up there, Use your cocking piece pin to give her a push. Falls right out. Get over there. And, and your main rod comes out. From there, it's just a matter of this lifts out. It's a T-slot fit. It just pulls right out. And there you go. You're completely disassembled. Uh, the front for the, your extractor parts is just like it was on the... Uh, Mark 1, Mark 2, 93 series with the spring clip and the two extractors. Uh, so that's no different. The firing pin is exactly the same as on the 93, so we're not going to go into any of that. Uh, there's other videos and articles and stuff already out there for that. So let's uh, go ahead and reassemble our bolt now. This is a little trickier than the disassembly just because trying to get things lined up and started and all that. So it's not too bad. Go ahead and put your two halves back together on up slots take your rod and slide it in now you want to line up that small hole for that pin with that notch here and you want to see there you can see some daylight there coming through you want to get that lined up so you can get that pin in once you get it lined up looking through grab your pin and you'll notice it is swedged on one end it needs to come in from the back side and that small through that small hole and come through and then you'll rotate it over just give it a tap it'll drop right in and when you can push your rod forward and back you know you've got it in all the way uh, then just slide in your caulking pin put your spring back on your transfer bar Slide those in, and on this, the washer side on this goes forward. And that's just a matter of putting on your BAS. Now, the new bolt assembly has a cocking indicator. And just like the 110s, it makes it a real pain in the butt to try to put your bolt back together if you don't have a tool to cock and decock the bolt using the cocking piece pin. Um, I don't have a tool for this yet, so this is going to be fun trying to flip back, so I'm not going to try to do it on camera. But you do have to tighten the nut down completely before you cock it, otherwise it won't. you can't get your Allen key in there to tighten it. Um, just tighten it down, and then use the edge of a table or a workbench or whatever you've got to pry that cocking piece, the cocking pin back into the cock position, and you can put it back in your rifle. And that's it.